Why am I showing you a camper? Because of this camper train. Little end scale layout that I can take camping with us. I've never been too happy with the track work on this layout. And I think that's because it's built on foam instead of plywood or something more solid. Now, the Great Lakes Eastern, a lot of the layout is, or a lot of the track rather, is laid on foam, but that layout doesn't move as much. So I think because this layout moves around quite a bit, the track gets tweaked a little bit. So what I'd like to do is actually take up all the track and replace all the rail joiners. And there is one piece of track over here through the tunnel. And of course it's through the tunnel, the hardest place to get to. It's a little rough, so I'd like to replace that section. I think I mentioned camper train once before when I did an update video of the end scale layout here that's in the shed. And how I'm going to connect it to the end here. So I've cleared out a space. I'm sorry about the poorly lit conditions here in the back of the shed. But this is where camper train is going to spend most of its time is with the other end scale layout makes sense so it just so happens there's a track that butts up to the edge of the layout here and there's a track that butts up to the edge of the camper train in the same spot so i should be able to connect a frame to the wall put a leg on it and connect the layouts together so that's going to be my next project all right, so I've removed the piece of plexiglass, pried off the piece of fascia off the side, which must have been super glued into place. A little bit of a bonus here. I didn't realize that the backdrop was, this was all one piece and I just bent it. So that might be my advantage because when I put camper train here, I can just push this back behind it. And when I remove it, I can just fold this back over I won't lose the backdrop. Looks like I have to do a little bit of trimming. You can see the front piece of fascia sticks out just a hair. I removed the plexiglass off the side of camper train as well. This is the side that will butt up against the bigger layout and shed. And I'm not too worried about this tr piece of track here not meeting up quite yet because that's going to get replaced when I read. Got the frame built, got it attached to the wall. I've never had a harder time finding scrap pieces of wood. And now we have it setting in place and it's pretty, pretty sturdy. So when I redo the track, redo the joiners and everything, I'll join it together right there. I'll make it removable, of course so that we can always pull it out and take it camping. All in all, the project only took a few hours. Like I was trying to say earlier about finding the wood, it took longer to do that and to clear the spot in the shed than to actually put it all together. I have decided to make one minor change right here. Sorry about the shadows glass back up but I'm not going to join these two tracks what I'm going to end up doing is moving this turnout over into here and connecting it with this track that connect that is part of this siding because this back track is a loading unloading for the fly ash cars at the farge here the cement plant so I'm just going to extend that track all the way in so I have more room to park the covered hoppers. Because I don't have all the material, that will be a future video update. I'm not exactly sure how far in the future, but I'll get to it as soon as I can. Well, that's going to be it for now, this quick little update and introduction to Camper Train. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.